focus on economic stability and, um, and political stability also. Let me take my book so I can speak more clearly. All right. In Palestine, many of our citizens are being, uh, are being harmed by international countries who fund or who send weapons into our states and into our territory to kill our citizens for political power and access to our resources. Now, we won't call any names because your conscience will work at you harder if you don't call your names. What we're asking is that you would uh, look into yourself, as one of our dear delegates of France said, to acknowledge yourself and be open and actually make changes to help our people become sovereign and prosperous. The United States, for example, we want to call on you, right? In the U.S., in the Civil War, their country was torn apart by war because the people were not able to practice their freedom and they didn't have the rights to, to, to live as they wanted to, right? But today, they neglect to realize that Palestinians are suffering the same thing that caused them to go to war. The same reason why they declared independence from the UK and why many countries here declare independence, we are suffering from it. So why do you guys sit here on your holy, um, holy thrones and, re and deny us off the right to be sovereign and run our own people and move our people forward? Please have Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, excuse me, delegates. No, no, we have suspended rules. Now, I want to point out the fact that this committee is not a stumping ground for countries to come and complain about what's going on in their country. This committee is a place to come up with a solution, a format that will go towards the international community, that will benefit every country here. Now, some countries have said some good things, and China agrees. Education is one of those things that are important to establishing peace. You educate your people, then they become good tenants uh, and stewards of that city, of that country. So we want to move forward by saying the format to peace is education, financial stability and stimulation throughout the international community. How do we do these things? We strengthen trade. We open up relations between the countries. We combine the efforts of the USA, the full buy program, like we said beforehand. Thank you, Thank you, Chairman. We have to give the opportunity to other delegates to express their views. Let's go to Israel, and then we'll come back. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Thank you, Delegate. Focusing on some of the issues that Palestine brought up. Uh, Terrorist networks are, are steadily increasing their uh, international uh, ability to link pain across boundaries. And some of the countries that are slow to move on and react into uh, genocides and ethnic cleansing that's going on within their state, yet they come to the United Nations hoping to speak and put in uh, solve problems to promotion the culture of peace. But when it comes to the issue of strengthening institutions like the International Telecommunications Union, the World Bank, international atomic energy agencies, they move slow. And they don't like to be as open as transparent when it comes to funding these organizations and being more open in solving some of these problems. I hope that Palestine could be more clear as of what efforts that they personally will make in leading, leading the pathway to find a solution and resolve to these issues. Thank you, Chair. Thank you very much. Uh, we go to Egypt. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Good God, nation. <laughs> Will we sit here and let China parent this meeting? Would he like to move to make a motion to become the chair? <laughs> when he's speaking about trade, surely he does not mean the trade of weapons into African countries, does he? I'm sure he doesn't. But the country of Egypt would like to say that wars begin in the minds of men. So it is in the minds of men that we must cultivate peace. Peace in the mind comes from tough, Spirituality. Spirituality rejects violence. It leads to values of freedom and tolerance. Therefore, I invite all nations here who are willing and able to join Islam. <laughs> because we see that the Islam nation cultivates peace. We see that the Islam nation cultivates a strong will to motivate the culture you, of peace. Amen. That's true. We see <laughs> that <laughs> spirituality. Thank you, Honorable Chair. There's no point of special privileges, sir. There's no point of special privileges. I retract. I retract. I retract. I retract. The United States. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Sit down. The United States of America would like to let the record be set today. We have stood forward and led the world 
in many different areas, not to mention we have provided 1.6 million in food aid, 3 million for assistance of refugees to Guinea. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot understand. Just call me out for pushing war, for, for wanting peace, for sending my men and women to give up their lives to save another community, a country that I am funding today to keep your economy sustaining your cash flow products. You oh gonna call God. me out for pushing peace power. <laughs> I ask you give me today. <laughs> Thank you, Honorable Chair. Samoa. 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 Thank you. Distinguished delegates, how dare we sit here and talk about promoting peace and we can't even get along here in this meeting. In order to have peace in the world, you have to have peace within your nation, within your country. With, in order to have peace within your nation and country, you have to have peace within your city. In order to have peace within your city, you have to have peace within your neighbor. And in order to have peace within all these, you have to have peace within. Yes, we talk about uh, religion. Every God is a God of peace. Every God, whether it's Allah, Buddha, or Jesus, we all, they all promote peace within ourselves, within our, each other, especially Jesus, if you believe in Jesus. <laughs> That is about the He said Islam. He said Islam. Allah. Palestine. No, 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 Russian Federation, Palestine, Guinea. Russia speaks. Right? Libya. 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 No, Libya. Oh, <coughs> Thank you, fellow delegates. Um, the Russian Federation is completely floored with the United States of America. I'm just, uh, our country, we can't, uh, for a country that thrives on nuclear weapons and has started the last major wars within the last 20 years, I'm completely baffled. I would like to call on the United States to please explain how they've been bullying all of the countries, uh, uh, even small countries such as Africa, yes. China, <laughs> Palestine. I'm calling you to please explain your position. We are. We are. I yield my time to the chair. I don't know what your Palestine wants to explain. Russia, we take your, we take your offer and we'll explain. America, how dare you come here saying you support countries? <laughs> we are in respectable budgets and we'll address you respectfully. Every year the U.S. sends millions of dollars to, uh, to Israel. Israel, I'll, I'll answer your questions later. You answer. <laughs> you make Israel the powerful country it is, and you make Israel the, the humanitarian violator it is to our country. Our, I'm sorry, our, our territory, because you refuse us the right to be a country in this world. You violate our people's rights every single day. A Palestinian citizen cannot walk from their house to a store in peace without fearing an Israeli bullet or an American sanctioned bomb on our citizens every day. How dare you come into this body and offend us? <laughs>